Hey people, this is Sharpino here, welcome you guys to the final episode, or well, the final part, of the Pokemon Shield Let's Play in the Isle of Amor. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to find down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did bond with our cub food by taking it around to some different parts of the Isle of Amor. Taking in the scenery and bonding and battling with our young friend, our new ally, if you will. While we did that, we also entered the Tower of Water and got the ability to evolve our dear little Kubfu into an Urshifu, the Rapid Strike version. So, looking pretty good here. Urshifu looks ready to go. I can see there's a raid just down the road here, and I definitely feel like we should go ahead and do that. And maybe use our new friend, depending, I guess, on what that is. Let's go ahead and have a looky and see what this um, <clears throat> what this raid is, because it has definitely piqued my interest since I started my recording. I was just looking at it going, hey look, it's, it's just sitting here like, hey, I'm here. And it's a shuckle. Yeah, no, nah, we're not doing that. Fuck that. No, thank you. We are not doing no BS like that. Look at that, he's bulbing and weaving. Alright, so there we go. We're done with that. Let's let's move along, okay? Let's let's go along. I'll check this one out as well and then we'll wrap it up. And then we'll go on with the story. That is <coughs> I think that's a whisper, and I'm not going to entertain that. And another jigglypuff! Oh it's actually a jigglypuff, I think that's what it is. <coughs> Sorry guys, I've got a bit of a tickle in my throat. I'm just like, uh, can you, can we not do this? We just started the recording. Thanks. Much appreciated. Alright, so let's have a look at the map and see where we got to go. So we've got to head to this part over here. So we've got to go through up here, and then go through here, and the Forest of Focus Hop is waiting there for us. So that's what we have to do now. So, let's head over there. <coughs> Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Hope you guys have done. You guys have probably already done this, and if you are and you're watching this, then thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Getting some what's here, there, and everywhere. Comfy, hey, comfy. Am I heading the right direction? Let me just double check. Yeah, no, I'm heading the right direction. Just, just making sure. Oh, items. Hello. A health feather. I've got plenty of those by doing masutering. Like, honestly guys, you have no idea how many I have. I see a TM over there. Let's see what this TM is over here. Hello. Good God. And there's an Aracuda sitting in the water. Hey. TR for Electro Ball. Okay, that's cool. Magnemite. <coughs> Good gravy. Don't know why I'm still coughing up here. Alright, so... It looks like we're heading the right way, so we're heading to this forest. The Forest of Focus. Here we go. And Mulga's up there. Okay, now, where do... Where is our friend over here? Just... And that's annoying, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just... Okay, so... Hop should be somewhere around here. As we run into a Fungus. One of my friends, Liam, just got a sim so shiny, hatched a, masuted a shiny fungus. Congratulations to you, Liam, on your shiny fungus. Your fun guy. Okay, so where is he? Oh, where, oh, where is my friend? Cramorant, not you. Where the hell are you? Item? A black apricorn! <gasps> That's used for heavy balls! Where the hell is he? I want answers. Hello. 
Hello, call me Digging Ma. Have you met Digging Pa? He's my partner. Oh, you're the digging person. Ah, yeah, let's try our luck here. Here I go. Let's see. Can we get lucky? Keep digging. Why not? It's just a gamble at this point. I'll go to five. If I can get five, I'll be happy. That's four. One more time and then I'll pull out. There we go. Nope. I'll take five. Thank you very much. Okay, so apparently that's a one day a thing, so that's cool. I didn't notice that. <clears throat> Where the hell are you, buddy? Oh, Hoppy Boy. Oh, Oranguru is here. Hello. Not expecting to see that there. Okay, seriously, where the fuck are you? Okay, so apparently I'm heading to it, so I just wasn't in the right spot. Okay. I'm really trying here to find someone here. Oh my gosh, I saw the most amazing Pokemon. No, I do not want to pay people for dex entries. What the fuck is that? Game Freak, I must ask you, what were you thinking with that stupid logic? Item is all the way up here. Pika Pika. A leaf stone. Do I see some max mushrooms over there? I do. And tangles and tangroves. And venipedes. Cluster of max mushrooms? Yes, please. And I see a little Diglett's thing over here. <coughs> oh, good god. What does the map say? Where is fucking... Head to the forest. Hop is waiting for you. I'm here in the forest of focus. Do I have to go by the entrance or something? I swear to God, if I have to go to the entrance to meet up with him. Ah, of course he is. There he fucking is. God damn it. So I've been wasting my whole time just doing that. Lovely. Finally, Sharpina, I've been waiting forever for you. Shut the fuck up, okay? I thought Glenwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level. And it's so hot and humid that I'm sweating a pond over here. Sonia and I split up places to survey, and she opted for the cold and snow and all. So I'm guessing we'll see Sonia in the Crown Tundra. Uh, DLC. Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us. But we both feel a bit better. Anyway, I was checking out this Forest of Focus place and while I was waiting for you to show up, and I saw signs that Lilligant and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Ushifu could love from their flowers and fruit. Okay, and how do we do that? From Lilligant and Applin's. That is a, a petalil. Hello. Look, it's a petalil. Petalil evolves into Lilligant, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. Hey, doesn't that petalil seem to be acting a bit strange? It looks, a, it looks sort of sad. Yeah, now that you mention it. Oh, look, its eyes are sad. Oh. It's still pretty little. Maybe it got separated from its parents? That is so cute! Look at it waddling towards us! It's just waddling! Wobbling and waddling! Whoa! Who are you glooming onto, mate? You really must be lost if you think I'm your mum. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You gotta help us out here, Sharpino. Go find us one of Petalil's parents or something, would you? Look for some worried looking Lilligant. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. 
Are you serious? We're doing Lost and Found now? Oh my god. Hey, Pika. Looking for Lilligans. Orangaroos. It does open up a good, uh, interesting thing to be able to shiny hunt for Sludge Wave. Nice. Okay. By the way, I've been watching people get um, shinies from all the new Pokemon here, and like I said in the last episode, some of them just look absolutely amazing. I saw someone get Hatch Masuda a shiny Caravana. That was amazing. Moongus. <gasps> Lilligan! Here we go. This is the Lilligan in question, I believe. We've got your Petalil. Ligand! Lead it to where Hop and Petalil are waiting. Alright, so you're going to follow us. Let's just head straight back to the main entrance. Where the hell is the pit to the Lilligant? Did we seriously lose it? Ah, oh, there we go. We've got to follow the leader. Happini. Well, I'm planning on trying to find a happini, but hey, we found it, so that's cool. Hi Pikachu. I'm not gonna hurt you, Pikachu. Who could hurt your little cute face? What is happening here? Why can't you go around? Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. Follow the red bike. Follow the black and red bike. And here we are. Finally, Sharpino, and you found Lilligant. Looks like they're happy. Looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. Can't do. What do you think, Sharpino? I see Lilligan's trying to thank you. And thank you too, apparently, Hop. Huh? Is this some of the nectar from your flowers, Lilligan? And off they go. Cute. I like that. That was like... See you, Petalil. See you, Lilligan. Nice one, Sharpino. Now we've got some of Lilligan's nectar. Hopefully this nectar's sweet and sticky, just like Urshifu likes it. Mmm, <sighs> I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give Applin's nectar a try next. Wait, so we did that for nothing? Oh, dude, what the hell? Huh? So we did all that for nothing. So it turns out that was not the honey that we're looking for. God damn it. Now we're trying to find an Applin. Alrighty. I'm all for being a good Samaritan, but don't mess me around like that, man. Come on. <coughs> man, oh man, oh man. So we just got, we got, you got debated. We got debated into thinking that was the correct Nectar, but apparently not. 
Where the hell are you now? Ah, an Applin's over here. Hello. Ooh, you look happy. There, it's an Applin. A pay. Applin, no way. Um, it's rolling to a dead end. What the? This is rotten. I don't see that Applin anywhere. But I'm sure it went rolling off this way. Sharpina, we gotta find that Applin. Um, is it in the tree, maybe? Ah, there it is. <laughs> huh? Something wrong with that berry tree? Ouch, the Applin clocked you right in the head. Oh, Waylon! Oh, I ran off again! Ah, uh, uh, Sharpina, is your head feeling moist? That's gotta be Applin's nectar on you. It might give us the slip, but at least we still got what we came for. But is Applin's nectar really sweet enough for Urshifu? Well, let's say, like they say, the proof is in the pudding, or the Applin's. Let's give it a try. Hmm, I don't think you'd describe it as a sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Lincoln's nectar wasn't it. Applin's nectar wasn't it. They really, they weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Urshifu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing, so I was looking for plants and flowers. But was I just barking up the wrong tree? Yes. Whoa, a venipede! I don't see those any one of those every day. But cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. Don't tell me we're going to go after a Venipede now. That's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produce Nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of Nectar to produce something else. You just noticed? Yes! And when it comes to Pokemon that collect and stores up lots of Nectar to make honey? Well, the answer is obvious, right? Beehive Pokemon. The Beehive Pokemon's got to be the answer! I'm sure of it this time! And Vespaquen is the Beehive Pokemon, right, Sharpina? Have you ever seen one? Well, if we're talking about the Isle of Amor, I think we should find some of the island shaped like a honeycomb over near the big blue tower. Now that we know where we're going, I'm off. Don't let me wait, Sharpino. Okay, so... Can the map narrow it down for me, please, what we're looking for? There we go. That's the island right there. Okay. So now we need to leave this... Seriously, this guy is meant to be a professor in training and claims that nectar is the same as honey. You fucking moron. It's not. They are nothing alike. And yet you had me going on a wild goose chase for a freaking petalil to find a lilligant. You had me looking for a goddamn freaking bullshit if I ever heard any. But at the very least we're heading in the right direction. So let's head to the island shaped like a hexagon. Honey calm sea. Oh god, Sharpedo, get the jewels music. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hello. Oh jeez! Run! It got me. I will say I do love the um, battle background for this year. I believe we're heading to the right spot. Hello, Wilmer. Bye, Wilmer. Don't tell me that's a Sharpedo coming for me. Am I in the right spot? No, I'm not. Okay, so I gotta keep swimming over this way. At least we're putting all these items over here. And another thing's coming towards us. Is it that one over there? It looks like we're heading to the right direction over here.
There's an item that's all the way over there, all by itself. Let's see what this item is here, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just like, just taking this all in for a second. A dragon scale! Ah, that's for our dear friend Horsey to evolve into a Seedra and then into a... Um, into a Kingdra. Um, this is the right area, right? Oh, there's a TM and a, a little diglet that's hiding in the corner over here. Okay. Man, this is actually pretty difficult trying to find this here. Oh, this must be it over here. Ah, got it. This has got to be it. Yep, this is it. Island of the Combies. Experience candy small. Oh, hello. Pollen Puff. That is uh, Rabombi's base move, but now a lot of people can learn it. There you are, Sharpina. Glad you could finally make it. Alright Hop, what's the drill? I've seen loads of Combi around, but no sign of Vesperquin so far. But they're the ones who have the sticky honey. Huh? I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonya, but why is it going off now? Is it reacting to the tree here? Something's gotta be up, Sharpina. I think we should check it out. Okay. Hello, tree. There's a cloy smelling of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? Yes! What is happening now? Uh... Oh, it's a freaking... Gah! Don't tell me that's one giant dense spot. Oh, beehive! Oh my god! Did it not? <laughs> oh, beehive! <laughs> Whatever it is that came from the tree sucks you into a Pokemon den. Well, we found the problem! Let's go for a max airstream. Get this Pokeball. Look at my boy Dumpling, looking so buff. Max airstream. We have speed, which is a good thing. Max Knuckle. Maybe we should go for a Max Knuckle as well to get our attack up. Even though it's resistant, I know. But we're only doing it for the purpose of getting our attack up. And now Shell Bell activated. Holy fuck! Dumpling! What the hell? Jeez! Something's got to be up shopping. I think we should check it out. Shut up! Alright, so I guess we need a good Pokemon to take on this here, and Dumpling got its ass handed by an acrobatic, so... 
I think our shiny friend over here will be the one to take care of it. We'll shake it again. That was annoying as hell, man. Come on, man. How are you going to do that to me? How are you going to do that to me? Urshifu, I thought you had it, buddy. I thought you had it, but apparently not. I'm not going to repeat everything again, but OB Hive, really? OB Hive. They, see, they did it on purpose. They, they knew what they were doing when they wrote that. Unfortunately, it's not Libero. I haven't shiny hunted for that yet. But, we might as well go for a Flare Blitz on our friend over here. Because Vesper Queen got power! Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay. Here we go. Max Flare. There we go. Look at that. We are freaking bringing it. They probably should have told you to prep for this, but they didn't. So, alright, let's go for... One more max flare, that should do the trick, and then we're done. The aftershocks of the battle cause a strange comb of honey to fall from above. A comb of max honey. Honey that Dynamax Vesper Queen produces. Adding this honey to Max Soup makes the taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as a Max Revive. I sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vesper Queen to come swooping out to attack us. I was too shocked to even think of joining you in the battle. Yeah, thanks. That is some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's a certain something Urshifu loves. And it seems like that honey was setting off my power spot detector too. The Max Mushrooms in this honey you can find here on the Isle of Amor. They both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. There's tons that we don't know about yet, so there's tons of research waiting to be done. Come on, let's, you got the thing we were looking for, so let's head back to the dojo at once. Yeah, look at you being all high and mighty. Even though you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like seriously, what the fuck was that? Alright. So now that we've got that, we'll go ahead and put Urshifu back on the squad. Now I've got a feeling we're going to have a battle, so I'm going to go ahead and put my team here with Dumpling up front, just in case something was to go awry. Just in case. No, I do not want to reorder my shinies. Thank you. Doesn't matter, I mean, they've all got... They've all been trained up anyway, so it's all good in the hood. It is all good. Let's jump in right here and see if we got the, what we need. Well, welcome, welcome, like I'm trying to remember the voice. <laughs> welcome back, my wandering wallow. Oh, and what does that sweet scent I detect? Wafting around the air around you. <laughs> That'd be the max honey that Urshifu loves to the max. We've got our hands on a nice haul of it. Did you know? Already? You put me and Chopin on it, old man. There's nothing the two of us can't do together. Ha ha ha. You did a real bang-up job finding that max honey with hardly a hint from me. Very nicely done, Chopino. And a little hop, too. You didn't forget for a second what that certain something was, did you? If we add Max Honey to our Max Soup, even Urshifu will be sure to want to sip. Well, it's been real, Sharpina, but I think you've learned just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come, after all. 
I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo. If you think you're really ready for me when I'm serious, then come to the battle court out back. Well, if you can let me Dynamax my Gigantamax my friend over here with a soup. Rallying the master when he's serious. That's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Lee all he knows, so Mustard's got to be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirit for serious battle, Shapino. I guess I'd better start getting serious about the research I came here to do too. Good luck with your things, Sharpino. I'm sure you'll manage, just like you always do. I'll come dashing right back to catch that battle, though, if you do try taking on Master Mustard. Seriously, Mustard. Fucking Mustard. Really, Game Freak? You couldn't think of a better name than that? God damn it. I can make some Max Soup that even Cub Foods Evolution Ushifu drink. As long as you've got both Max mon Honey and Max Mushrooms, that is. Do you want to give your Pokemon Max Soup? Yes. Which Pokemon? Give it to Urshifu. If it, this Urshifu drinks Max Soup, it'll become capable of Gigantamaxing. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms and one comb of Max Honey to Max, max, max Soup. Is that alright? Yes. Urshifu is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Alright. I'm only doing this just for the final battle, so I'm going to go ahead and swap it around here. Actually, you know what? I'll put, um... I'll put our Corviknight in front. I don't think we've ever seen our Corviknight this entire LP, the shiny one. But now that we've got that, we can go ahead and head to the battlefield. Wow, are you ready for another battle with little old me? Yes, I am. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey over, over to the battleground. Yes, old man, let's do this. You know, I've been thinking more and more these days about how fortunate we were to have you join the dojo, even if it was mi by mistake at first. I can't thank you enough, Sharpino. It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist a battle against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Now then, let's get things going. This is the most fun time in the world. Back out here flexing on me, man. What are you doing? Full squad. Go, Manchao! Go, Corviknight! Shiny Corviknight! Yeah, buddy! Hey, <laughs> hey! It's been a while since I faced such a strong opponent. My blood's boiling over. It's time to see exactly what all this training has made of you. Level 73. Okay, so we still have this. Alright, let's go for a Bray Bird. Yours, fake out! Seriously? Okay. Bray Bird! Blaze Kick! <laughs> Let that be a reminder. A single slip could cost you everything. You're absolutely right. Bray Bird. Aha! I see you've got your fundamentals down, Pat, but that alone won't cut it. Um, I think my team is doing pretty damn good, if you ask me. Send in a Luxray. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's bring in our friend Bangalo. Swap out! Let's go! Bangalo the Rylaboom! God damn it. Earthquake. Boom. Haha, <laughs> boy. Once to send you want to send in your own Corviknight. Roger, come on out! Roger the Cinderace! Showcasing twice today, I see. Now, Pyro Ball! Kablam! Right there!
Like a rock. Let's stay in here. I jump kick. Down goes the lichen rock. Like a rock, like a lichen rock. Uh, I don't know what the Pokemon that is. I think that was his uh, Urshifu, so I'm going to swap out. Oh, Komodo. Oh. Whoops. My bad. Gax, we need some damage control. Return. My square, shiny. Char Klangorous Soul. This is a stat boosting move. Boosting attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and spe Oh! At the cost of health. Okay. Ice Beam. And Dumplings level 72. Alright, now here we go. It's the showdown of the Yoshifus. Let's do this. My skills are only getting sharper. Try not to get captivated by my might. Oh, trust me, I'm not captivated. And this is the single strike version from the Tower of Darkness. Let's go for a max knuckle. So we can boost our attack. Okay, the fact that we have speed is pretty good. This is Gigantamac, guys. So this is showcase for the first time ever. Ooh, look at that form, though. Yo, that looks dope. Look at it. Now become the gigantic fist that breaks your opponent. As one would smash through a board. Okay, I'm not going to lie, the dark version has a better Gigantamax. I'm sorry, it does. Look at it. They both look so cool though. Max Knuckle. Oh yeah, it's fighting type. I forgot about that. It's dark and fighting. Max Knuckle. Now that we both got our attack boost up, that basically means this next one should get the kill. Max Knuckle! Yeah! Let's go! If it has an underleveled, hell yeah! Let's go! Strength ebbs and flows through us. One moment you grasp it and the next it slips from your hands. But the strength you, have, you the strength you lay, that let you defeat me is unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. And again, we're getting paid! <laughs> I held absolutely nothing back and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses his master. A true moment of pride for his master. You deserve a very special league card from me. The rare league card. It seems I will have to redo my own training from scratch. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost? Uh, I don't know why you're surprised. I'm just as good. Ah, so you all came. You know I can't resist seeing you all get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. You look utterly dashing, darling. Guys, take it to the bedroom if you want to do that. Oh, but look at me getting all distracted. You are amazing, Sharpino. Looks like we'll need to have some Max Toop tonight to celebrate. I just knew you weren't just a new student. I think I'll call you Master Newbie from now on. Um, that's an oxymoron. Don't do that. Well, I'm not surprised one bit, Sharpino. I knew you'd win. And you were fabulous too, Urshifu. Yes, he was. Ahem. Uh, Sharpino. 
Ah, the douchebag that started all this. Well, um, how should I put this? I thought mayhap I should offer my congratulations. But I won't. Honestly, I don't see why I should celebrate anything. I'll admit, I do feel a bit better. I couldn't hold a candle to a trainer who defeated the master his full strength. But when next we meet on the field of battle, it will be I who takes the victory in a fair fight, no less. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Avery. I don't think I'll lose. You've got quite the attitude, though maybe it's not as bad as mine. Well, at least he's aware of his own flaws. Ha <laughs> ha! Zing! Well, that wraps up the last of the training here at the Master Dojo. Oh, Master, I see you're back to normal. Sharpina, I hope you'll come by and have more battles with me from time to time. It'll make us both stronger. Just so we're ready for when the time comes. Ha! <laughs> oh, don't worry, you'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. And I'm guessing this is what leads us into the Crown Tundra DLC. So clearly, Mustard's giving some clues as to what's going to happen. Anyway, let's all head back, shall we? Like one big family. Yeah! Woo! The end. That's, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is all of the... All the playable post-story stuff here. I can't believe you beat the master even when he was serious. Sharpino, you might be able to tackle this dojo's most grueling type of training ever. Restricted sparring. If you have the courage to try it, let me know. Restricted sparring. Ah, sounds interesting. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that is it for the DLC I Love or More for Pokemon Shield. Hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you like the button down below because, as always, your support is great. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of... Well, it's over, so stay tuned for the next Let's Play that appears on my channel. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'll do any recordings here at the moment because I'm in the midst of moving stuff over to my new house. So if you guys see a new video, great. If not, guys, just know that I will try to give you guys content when I can. So just be patient with me. I might do some shiny hunting from now to then, but we'll see what happens. So until the next time I see you guys in the next video, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.